Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Of course, we are always, always so excited to be here. How was your day? Do you have a very dramatic day? Yola, how was yours? My day was quite good. For the second day in a row, I actually got quite a bit of rest this afternoon, which was good. Work from home, the usual, and then, of course, came here. How was yours? Mine was really good. I did a lot of work from home as well, but eventually, at some point, I had to leave the house for, leave mm. the office for a meeting. And you know those days when you feel like, I did so much, I achieved a lot, my day feels really productive. There's just this sort of thing. I think it's oxytocin. I don't know if it releases. Let me not go on uh, I know oxytocin <laughs> is like the hormones released during intimacy. Girl, I can't even tell you. I have no idea, but that's good. I mean, having productive days are always like, the best. Dopamine so. is what I was going to say, yes. It releases dopamine to the brain. Oh, okay, yeah, When yeah. you basically achieved and you feel like your day was productive. Absolutely. I'm happy for you. That's good. Thank you. So, <laughs> they have a very interesting conversation we're about to have here. Absolutely. When last did you go on a date? When Don't last lie. did I go on a date? Okay, let me not lie. The last time I went on a date was last week. When last did you go on a date? <laughs> I shouldn't have asked you this question. I should have known you would ask me back. It's been a while. How long is a while? But you know what? You always have these <laughs> sneaky moments where you say you're doing nothing in the evening, then you check Olive's Insta stories, what? and you see her by the ocean or somewhere beautiful what having you? dinner. You don't see anybody else so <laughs> no, in those stories. No, no man can appear on my Insta story on today. Even when the guy is yeah. like, has put engagement ring there, mm -hmm. no, until he has paid my bride price. Until we become husband and wife, then you will see the face. Until then, you're not seeing anybody's face. Before you now be counting for me, uh -uh, Alak Baja is on our Insta story today. They went for the date. They must be dating. You know, in Nigeria, mm. once you go out, you people are in a relationship. We actually had this conversation the other day because we were speaking about Cassie and P. Diddy breaking up and that news yes. coming out. And everyone was saying, isn't it so weird how someone can actually just be there in your life for such a long period of time? Eleven your years. entire feed, even on social media, is basically filled with the love that you and that person shared and all of a sudden like that it's over but you know what at the end of the day life goes on see yeah, cassie enjoyed her 20s she's 32 years old she has so much ahead of her and quite frankly come on 11, if you were with a guy for 11 years and Lila, he hadn't proposed yet, go there. how would you feel the worst heartbreak i felt in my life mm -hmm. we didn't date up to five years and i was so broken and shattered and you're telling me 11 years i can't even imagine what would have happened to me now to all those who have dealt with mm. extreme heartbreaks this is not to say that if your heartbreak was just after one year that it's inconsequential mm. you know you can't gauge someone's pain someone else's pain you can't feel their pain for them and you can't tell them how to mourn their loss so our thoughts and our prayers are with cassie and dance everything is fine but you know they go at home and cry we don't know but exactly they'll be all right our thoughts and our prayers with them but let's talk about dates <laughs> absolutely the first one is of course a couple on dates who should foot the bill well do you want to answer first or should, should i answer answer to be honest with you um see <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay to be honest with you um i'm not saying i wouldn't foot the bill because there are times where i know i'm in a position where to be honest with you, it's actually better if I foot the bill and I do it in a low-key way where he doesn't know and I'm like, oh, don't worry, I've already paid it. But on average, isn't it guys that ask me on dates more than me asking them on dates? And I, I think that whoever asks for the date should be the one to foot the bill because I didn't ask for dinner. You asked to take me for dinner. I, I really like how very objective and nice you are. But, oh, yeah. you know, <laughs> when it comes to me... Okay, now, jokes mm. apart, I've gone on a date with a guy before. It was our first date and... Before he would come stand up, before he would pay the bill, I stood mm. up, I took a walk, and I paid the bill. And they brought the ATM, the PRS machine to him, and they're like, oh, the bill is already sorted. Mm. You know, No, he asked for the mm. bill, and then they told him, no, the bill is already sorted. Mm. I've done that a few times. However, I'm not going to take it as my rights mm. or my responsibility to pay. I won't even come on TV and be fronting. Mm. I don't mind being look af looked after. I don't mind mm. being, take, being paid, um, taken mm. care of. If you ask me out to dinner, I would expect that, mm. okay, you'd pay the bill. If my spirit mm. moves me, I will pay the bill. Now, if we're in a relationship, I think it just depends on anybody. Mm. You know, he can pay, I can pay. And even if I ask for the dates, you said it's dependent on who asks who out. Even if I tell him, babe, let's go and eat out, babe will pay. Mm. On some occasions, I will pay, but primarily, I think, babe, babe, you are going to pay. And the Lord will provide for you to pay. <laughs> you know, it's a very weird one because, yeah, I mean, I can't imagine, like, first of all, I don't see, unless I really like the guy, I'm not going to ask a guy on a date. So if you've so you've asked never asked me, a man out on a date on a No, date there's some guys I've been like, oh, yeah, let's go for dinner. But that means I see something in you. Do you okay. understand? But 
if you've asked me out on a date, then of course you're gonna pay. I mean, I didn't ask for it, so. But the next one is. But you know this thing, mm. uh, this thing we're talking about. When they now bring up the feminism argument, they will now say mm. that you know, ladies are, are advocating for equality, mm. and that the equality should get to things like this. Anybody mm. else should, um, both of them should be able to split the bill. I'm not splitting any bill. Mm. Yeah, I'm not even arguing too much. I know the areas I'm arguing for equality: equality in opportunities, equality in treatment. Don't think that because you are my colleague and you are a man mm. and we're doing the same work, we'll end the same. Thing. No, that's the kind of equality we're asking for. But, mm. honey, if my boyfriend takes me to the date, he's gonna pay. <laughs> no, I don't think it has anything really to do with feminism, though. Oh, no, it's not, up that it's not really man. like, yeah, but then if we look at feminism as a school of thought, it does not fit into this because discussion. The, the because the conversation around feminism is mm. really starting to change, and many people are mini beginning to misconstrue what feminism actually yeah, is. Yeah, but I don't think, I don't think putting the bill on dates has anything really to do with that because the entire notion is that no matter where it comes from. If it's a feminist move, it just shouldn't feel awkward. You know how people were going off about this entire thing with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, or Princess Meghan, when she was holding the umbrella, and people were saying, ah, Chimamanda is probably screaming. No, 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 that's and everybody was like, Chimamanda no, supports, that is a feminist you know. move, because it shows that why should a woman feel comfortable doing that? Why should a man feel, com um, sorry, uncomfortable doing that, you know? Anyone can play that role. Yeah, but so, what, what I'm trying to say is that what mm. they would say a lot of the time, when mm. we had this argument and a few friends were arguing, they were like, if you're pushing for equality and you're pushing for feminism as much as you are, mm. then don't expect a man to pay your bills. Expect mm. that when you go on dates, you both to split it because you're equal partners, um, partners and equal parties. No, I'm not really inside that school of thought. In your family just, too, when your father <laughs> takes you or your mother takes you for dinner, you should be splitting the bill. Like, it's not about going Dutch on the bill. Like, that's not, feminism does not say count down to the last penny. At the end of the day, is it not about convenience and everybody's Have circumstance? You. The same but thing we spoke about yesterday. So it's your, not your vex money. There's something called vex money. <laughs> your card. So that in case the guy does not have money to pay, because it still happens. In case the guy doesn't have money to pay, you will not wash plates. You just pay for yourself. And it's okay to actually mm. take yourself out. You don't have to wait for someone else to do that. Absolutely. Let's move on to this next one, though. Okay, so who should pay on dates in a company of friends, three or more? Well, I'd say split the bill. Mm. Now, if I'm the richer friend mm. of all of us, if we're friends, of course, to an extent, mm. you know each other's financial standing. If I'm the richer friend mm. of all three, and at that time I have the money, mm. personally, I don't mind fitting everybody else's mm. bill. And depending on who said, hey, babes, let's hang, hang mm. out. So I've gone out with friends, and so sometimes Aya would say, oh, let's go, to, let's go see a movie, mm. bill on me. So I already know, okay, I'm not forcing mm. or anything. Or when we go to see a movie, she's paying for the, for the film. I'm at one corner ordering for popcorn and a drink. You know, so it's basically... Everybody just split the bill mm. or one person can volunteer at the end of the day. What do you say? Absolutely. Well, what I would say on this one, I think it's a very interesting one. Once again, I think it depends on situation. Now, I find it interesting because today I was watching this video. There's this um, vlogger. She's actually Nigerian, but she's based in Canada. It has the same name as me, Layla Johnson. Oh, interesting. Um, but it's actually Delilah Johnson, like D-E, Layla oh. Johnson. And um, she's been off YouTube for a while. So she came back on and she was opening up about her depression. And she said that being so young and becoming big on YouTube at such a young age put me in a position where I was just doing everything I wanted to do. And I found myself in situations where I'd go out with my friends. And because they knew that I had money, they would expect me to pay. And in all of that, I was just spending, 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 and running up broke. debts on debts on debts. And she was like, she wasn't even thinking. Now, I saw something again two days ago that said, if you put yourself in a position for people to take advantage of you, human nature is that the person will take advantage of you, right? So in all, and I think I would agree with you that, yeah, I would say split the bill, and it just works on the dynamics, like what you explained with the popcorn and the tickets. But at the same time, I think there are also situations as well, like you said, where it's just a case of, okay, you know what? This one's on me. Like, there are times where I go for lunch with my friends, and I'm like, no, this one's on me. But then that person also has it in their subconscious. So the next time we go out there, like, mm-mm. You did it the last time. Yeah. This one is on me. Because I think the most embarrassing situation is sitting and I the mean, bill comes and you're okay, counting so to the last 12, five naira. Tax like... 500 <laughs> on top, 12, 5. So, Leila, you, you'll scalculate honestly. and divide 12, 5 into 3. At the end of the day, honestly, when I go mm. out with friends, if I have the money, I don't really mind. Mm. For me, it's like, I don't mind. I, most I especially you. because I wouldn't have friends that would take advantage of me. And mm. I know when I don't have money, they would also mm. they would foot the bill as Absolutely. Well. This yeah. last one, in a sit-out business meeting. Well, that's, that's, 
There should be an etiquette thing for that. I don't know the exact answer to say, the an exact answer for that. But I would say depending on who invited who mm. for a business lunch. Yeah. So I remember going for a business lunch mm. with myself, Ayo, and a third party. Mm. And the person invited us and asked, oh, where do you think, you know, VI is your access? You know, and we were going for, this, for a business person in, business meeting in favor of the person. Mm. Even though it was going to benefit all of us eventually. And when the bill came, he paid. So depending on who's inviting who, who's benefiting, and if you know you're going for a business meeting, you don't have money, you're not quite sure who pay, just respect yourself and order for a glass of water, mm. order for a bottle of water or order for a cup of coffee, I'd say. Absolutely. I, I would say as well that it does depend on who called for the meeting and asked you to come to that particular location. But then again, it's just dependent on the situation. I think there's certain things that we can judge from a distance. You walk into a business meeting, look at the body language and the aura of that person. Is that person warming? How do you think it's going to go? You know, there's certain things that you can make out in your mind before that bill comes. It's very, very And dependent. don't judge somebody by how they look because they could be looking all well put together and really Girl. there's no shit See, yeah. if in I the bank account. These stories. <laughs> <laughs> the days where you're looking I so I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all we have for you. But if you disagree with us on any of the points, of course, feel free to let us know at Olive MOD and at LGS online. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.